Welcome to Neurally. Let's pick our brains. Today's video is part of a series about how our five senses work. Today we'll be covering my favorite sense, the sense of smell, or olfaction. So, how do we smell? Olfaction is one of the chemical senses, the other being taste. The physical unit of smell is called an odorant, which are chemicals that we can smell. To understand how we register smell, we must learn about the structure of the nose. At the top of our nasal cavity is a thin sheet of cells called the olfactory epithelium. On the olfactory epithelium, there are three types of cells. Olfactory receptor cells are the site of transduction. These cells are genuine neurons that have axons which reach the central nervous system, and there are about 40 million different olfactory receptor neurons. The second type of cell is a supporting cell, which helps produce mucus, and the last type of cell is a basal cell, which is the source of new receptor cells. Since the epithelium has a layer of mucus, many odorants we smell are dissolved in the mucus. The olfactory receptors on the epithelium have cilia, which are sensitive to the molecules we smell. To recognize specific smells, each olfactory receptor is encoded by a different gene and recognizes a different odorant. So different odorants activate different combinations of receptors. Also, olfactory neurons are constantly dying and regenerating in a cycle that can take about four to eight weeks. When the cilia transducts information to the olfactory receptor cell, the cell sends the information through its axon. All the olfactory axons combine to create the olfactory nerve, which continue to the glomeruli, which are spherical structures located on the olfactory bulb in the brain. The glomeruli create an organized map of the different receptor cells that are being activated, and the olfactory bulb directly relays the information to the olfactory cortex and areas in the temporal lobes. The olfactory cortex has direct influence on the amygdala, which affects emotion, and the hippocampus, which plays a role in memory. This is why specific smells remind us of certain memories. When our brain processes olfactory information, we smell the world around us. But our brain processes more than just smells. The brain helps us perceive other kinds of information, like taste, which we will learn more about next week.